You know, as an artist, it would be great to have somebody ride in on a white horse, pay for studio time, production, marketing, advertising, wardrobe, all that. But that's not the times that we're living in. And there was a time for that. You know, back in the days when people were shopping demos and record companies were signing artists off for of demos. But those days are done. Now record companies are looking for artists to already have a following and already have fans. And you have to have already achieved a certain level of success before they'll have anything to do with you. And they're not the only ones that are thinking that way. You know, managers and producers and uh Booking agents, they're all thinking that way. They're all looking for you to already have a following and already have fans and already be successful. And what we kind of got to understand is that these people are kind of like investors, you know, and what investors want is a return on their investment. You know, it's like a bank and getting a loan from a bank. You know, the bank is going to assess you to see how likely you are to repay the loan. You know, they're going to look into how long you've been employed, how much money you make. You know, in our business, it's social currency. It's how many people are talking about you on Twitter. How many people are talking about you on Facebook. How many YouTube views you got. And those things are indicators of your ability to repay a loan or to bring a return on investment. So before you go out there and try to get an investor, you got to invest in yourself and bring yourself to a point where you can attract an investor. And one of the most important ways that you can invest yourself is by investing in ads because people can't support what they don't know exists, you know? So you want to take advantage of things like Facebook boosts and promoted tweets and YouTube ads that allow you to elevate your visibility and get your content out there in front of more people where you can increase the likelihood that you'll get a fan and build a following, you know? That's why I, I put out the book, PPC Advertising Fundamentals for Beginners, that introduce you to the process because it's important. You know, the videos that I do uh, and the tutorials and, the, and, and, and all the analytics and all of that stuff is for do-it-yourself artists that allows you to really take advantage of the tools that you have before you to do it yourself and get yourself out there and, 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 and build a following and build a fan base because... Nowadays, you got to do it yourself, you know? So, you want to take advantage of those things. You want to make that happen. You want to have a little budget and, and, and a little budget, you know, for marketing and advertising. Don't sit and sit, don't stand around and sit on your hands waiting to go viral. Just releasing a video and hoping that people like it and share it and that it just blows up from your fr personal friends and family because that's not likely to happen. You know, you got to you got to push the issue if you really want to make it pop, you know? So I hope that was informing. This is Gif signing off. Pay us no mind.